You want to care for corals, but you're feeling lost about par values huh? and lighting requirements. Maybe you've invested in a pricey light yeah. and setting the position looks like a guessing game. You got your XR30 or you got your Aqua Illumination Hydra or a Prime 16 HD or a Philips light or whatever expensive lights they have. You open your box and you have no clue what to do with it. Let me clear things up for you without the endless online searches. Let's dive in. Whatever expensive lights you buy, doesn't matter what brand it is, most lights require 8 inches distance. And from there, we set our corals from top midsection to bottom. Top acquires high lighting, of course, middle acquiring medium light, and lower that requires little light. Now, I can throw you a whole bunch of numbers and it's gonna sound wacky to you, but here are the basics. For SPS corals like Montipora, Stylos, and Acros, they crave intense light and flow. Position them at the top, aiming for a par range ideally between 200 to 350. They can handle even higher levels with proper acclimation. Moving down to the midsection, that's where your LPS corals will thrive. Some examples of LPS corals are chalices, brain corals, and blastomusas. Opt for 50 to 150 par. As simple as that was, some LPS needs to be at the bottom, and they thrive at the bottom. Bottom. For example, my chalices and micromusas do very well in the bottom. Lastly, soft corals. Examples include zoanthids, mushrooms, and zinnias. They belong at the bottom, okay. basking in 50 to 150 par. Me personally, I opted for the XR30. It's one of the most expensive lights, but it's also very high in quality. My XR30 light is currently running at 60% under the Coral Lab AB Plus setting, over a 24 inches long by 20 inches wide tank, and about 19 inches deep, 18 inches of water. Excluding the rear sump, it would actually be 18 inches wide. This setup is mostly SPS on top, LPS, and zoanthid on the mid and floor section of the tank. My smaller Red Sea Max Nano, which sits at 18 by 18 by 18 inches, currently has the Reef LED 50. I had bought the Reef LED 90 along with the initial purchase just in case I needed higher par, but I ended up making this tank into a mostly anemone torch and hammer tank. Only thing I did was upgrade the return pump and kept the Reef LED 50. The light setting is at 50% blue and 20% white. This combination provides more than enough light and water movement for this type of setup. These guidelines offer for a solid starting point, but feel free to tweak as needed. Why, thank you. Subscribe.